yes. We're gonna get into it right away. Should've brought a knife. Oh, the struggle's real. Is there another way to... Don't even need scissors. There's a pull tab. This is my new Apple Watch. I've been waiting for this for a few weeks now. I ordered it right when it came out. This is the Apple Watch Series 2 in the uh, black colorway. It's the aluminum one. It's the sport model. Officially, I don't think they call the Series 2 the sport model anymore. It's just they kind of got rid of the Apple Watch, Apple Watch Sport, Apple Watch Edition, all that. So, But it is the aluminum casing in the all black, and it's the 42 millimeter. so we're going to get into this right away. And like I mentioned, it is Series 2, so it's got the GPS. It's got the waterproof. I can go swim with it, all kinds of stuff. Cut that. Are you ready? Here it is. I thought there'd be more than that. I thought you'd see the watch on the top. Anyway, so you've got in the box. Oh, there it is. You've got this fancy Apple packaging as usual. It's very nicely presented. The box is extremely high quality. It's almost like a case for it. Um, in here is just your sort of documentation. So you've got a quick start guide and I believe it's different languages. You get stickers in here? I thought you used to get stickers. There's no stickers. Anyways, you also get the, this is the small medium band. So if, if the one included, I guess obviously this is the larger one. Um, being the 42 millimeter size, I, I assume they put the larger band on it, but if you needed to, if you needed to change this part of it, you can change it and put in the smaller one there, so they give you that. I thought there were stickers. Where are the Apple stickers? We're gonna get this out. Obviously, there's the watch. Uh, here's your charging cable, your dock, just like uh, like an iPhone, it's, I think it's a five volt uh, thing. Yeah, I believe it's five volts. Anyways, that's your charger and the cable itself. This is magnetic, so it snaps onto the bottom. And that's how you charge it. So let's get into the main attraction here, so. Get this off to the side. Uh, blah blah blah. Here's how to unwrap it. Ta -ta. And there it is. It looks it looks absolutely fantastic, guys. It's all sort of that black space gray color. Um, and again, this is the 42 millimeter. And just for the sake of comparison, my sister has an Apple Watch too, and this one's hers, and she has the smaller one. So just to show you, okay, I've got two here. There's your sort of size difference I guess so you've got the larger 42 millimeter the smaller 38 millimeter screen so take that take from that what you will here I'll show you even a better idea let's put these on so there that's kind of how it fits my wrist uh, the 42 millimeter definitely definitely I prefer it for for my wrist um, if you want for the sake of comparison that's what the smaller one would look like. Okay, so you get an idea of exactly how big they are. Um, yeah, so 42 millimeter, definitely the right size for me. We're going to turn this sucker on and see what we get for startup. I've been waiting for this for a long time, guys. I've been waiting for the Series 2 to come out. I wanted to get the first one, but by the time I was sort of ready to actually get the first one, um, I knew I was reading rumors, I was following it online and I knew that they were going to release the second version, whatever they were gonna call it, they ended up calling it Series 2, but I knew they were going to release the, the second one, so I decided to wait, and I remember at their conference in, way back in March, okay, way back in March they had, a, they had an Apple event, and it turned out that they just released new bands, um, but I was, wait, I was anticipating, you know, it was possible that they could release a new watch back then, they didn't, I waited and I waited. Um, we got to WWDC in the month of June where Apple usually teases their new software updates and all that kind of stuff. So um, we got to there, we're going to select, I wish I had a holder for this, but I don't. We're going to select English, English, choose region, start pairing. Okay, so we got to the start pairing process. I'm gonna need the phone now. So we'll continue this video. I'm gonna need my phone. I started filming both, though. So you could even see it there. I'm filming, you can see me film the watch. But we're gonna start pairing, so I need the phone. We're gonna do that. Start pairing. 
pull the Apple Watch up to the camera so it actually uses the camera. And there you go, as easy as that, your Apple Watch is paired. So it's got this fancy sort of graphic here, 42 millimeter aluminum case. You can see that there as it's starting it up. So here you go, so the watch is syncing. You can see it's got the logo in the middle. It's difficult here, but it's got the logo in the middle. It's pairing up. It's got the logo in the middle. You've got the little circle going around and it's pairing up with the phone to get all the data you need into the watch, I suppose. So this will probably take a few minutes. Um, so we're going to let this thing go and we'll cut back to the video once it's done. While we wait for the watch to set up, let's talk a little bit about the tech specs. The all new Apple Watch Series 2 comes with an all new processor known as the S2 processor. This processor is supposed to double the speeds and really boost performance of the Apple Watch Series 2. The Series 1 watch also released comes with a new processor. Both processors are supposed to really improve speeds in comparison to the first generation Apple Watch. Performance boosts are really noticed and the watch really does respond much much better to feedback and touch information. Along with the processor come some other new features including built-in GPS, allowing fitness users to run or bike or perform any sort of outdoor activity without the use of carrying around their iPhone. We also see waterproofness built into the watch, so swimmers can now use the watch to track their swims and record fitness data such as heartbeat, time, calories burned, and other things like that. In addition to all the fitness benefits included with the new Apple Watch Series 2, the watch comes with some very cool integrated applications. You can control the camera from the watch itself. Unfortunately, video does not work, but you can take photos using the watch as the controller. You can see here my native score application that I can use to track my favorite teams, including scores, substitutions, and all sort of sports related information. The native breathe app is really cool as well, reminding users to breathe and take a minute out of their day to relax and just take some time for themselves. Other cool apps I have installed on my watch include Golf Shot, where I can track my score and distances while playing golf. The GoPro Capture app, which I can use to control my camera from the watch itself. I can record and pause from the application. A few other useful features include controlling my music from the watch. This allows me to not take my phone out of my pocket every now and then to change songs. I also like using it to track my steps and activity information throughout my day. Apple did a fantastic job with this watch and it definitely is a major improvement in comparison to the first generation. Okay guys, so I'm into the watch now. I've got all these uh, choices to set up, you know, my face, what apps I want on it. Um, I can go to the app store on the phone, install them on the watch. I can do all kinds of stuff with, uh, I, I think I'm going to use this a lot for fitness and, uh, you know, just, I'm sort of a tech guy too. I like, you know, I'm good with all that kind of stuff. So uh, using this to connect to, you know, my TV, my phone, my music, uh, Bluetooth stuff, any sort of activity logs, anything like that. That's what I can see myself using the watch for. Um, unlocking my Mac, which I can do that now using the new OS Sierra, so I'm probably going to do that. But I'm not going to show you anything else really. This is how I'm going to set up my watch through my phone here. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the boxing of the Apple Watch Series 2. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I will get an answer out to you on that. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please, or if you enjoyed the channel and want to see other things on this channel, please subscribe to my channel. There'll be some more videos coming out. I've kind of done a few different things now. Usually I do sports, um, but I'm going to do a little bit more vlogging style stuff. I'm going to do some tech reviews, and I hope that you guys enjoy the content. So please subscribe if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Mike McIntyre with All Things Sports, and take care. See you next time. This is the new watch.